Hello everyone. Today we are in conversation with Mr. Abhishek Bansal, who is currently uh, the CISO for Max Life Insurance Company Limited, and he also manages operational risk for Max Life Insurance. With over 19 years of experience in risk management, cyber security, policy advocacy, Abhishek ensures digital trust for the enterprises. His expertise lies in de devising robust risk strategies, implementing cutting-edge technologies, and cultivating a culture of cyber resilience. Today, he'll help us delve deeper into the Gen AI and how it, it is impacting the industries, specifically the insurance sectors at large. So, uh, welcome, Abhishek. Uh, very first question that I have with for you is, you know, how is Gen AI really impacting the insurance sector? So thank you, Pooja, for having me on Digital Tech Media. Uh, I think uh, this is the question uh, which is very abreast in the current times. So uh, I would say, uh, you know, there are areas which require you no know, significant human labor and creativity, and uh, artificial intelligence and, uh, you know, more importantly, generative AI is something which can, which has a potential to, you know, disrupt the usage, uh, you know, of this entire systems and processes put together. and uh, you no know, business functions are there to kind of uh, to reap benefits actually out of the technology put together uh, when it comes to insurance whilst uh, there are there are very many aspects on which gen ai and artificial intelligence uh, you know can have its impact but more importantly i think this is the core insurance company be it health insurance life insurance uh, there is an important process which is called as an underwriting process uh which involves actually assessing the risk associated with an insurance applicant uh to determine what should be the coverage and at what price so traditionally you know this process uh, involves significant amount of uh, data input from you know uh, various information elements right from medical histories to lifestyle information you know whether you are a smoker or, or likewise which is actually consumed by an underwriter before they make a decision to you know provide the policy or not now when it comes to gen ai you know the capability is far more enhanced that you know what is the vast amount of data which you can consume quickly and help actually underwrite uh, you know these decisions uh, with with far greater accuracy because you can ingest multiple records whether it is medical records lifestyle data uh, additional resources um, you know whether it is genetic information uh in fact this can be further extended to you know real time health data from wearables uh integration to social media activity in you know likes of your purchasing habits and likewise so there is a huge amount of impact which can be kind of uh you know uh, be made by gen ai in terms of data analysis and risk assessment uh another thing which i can think of is about uh, entire personalization experience because now it is uh no one can actually understand individual risk profiles far more deeply and no the policies can be tailored accurately to reflect the actual risk of a particular individual uh leading to actually a more favorable product uh you know for the consumer needless to say uh, there are times of seasonality which requires you know an underwriter to write in lot many cases so uh, the technology actually can render you uh, you know automate lot of manual work which is involved in collection uh, you know initial assessment thereby reducing overhead cost and speeding up the entire process so this is just one side of it i think there are lot many other areas uh, you know fraud detection is is one key area uh, you know uh, where uh, uh, artificial intelligence and generative ai can actually enhance the capability of insurers to detect fraud uh analyzing patterns analyzing something which is actually non rule based to throw out actually discrepancies and red flags uh, which may suggest fraudulent activities i think uh, there is lot which is there uh, no uh, the future beholds uh, if i may say uh, entire uh, dynamic policy adjustment in terms of uh, you know today it is a point in time risk assessment and that's how uh no some bit of loading is being you know carried out when you talk about health insurance policies you uh, know while life insurance it's it's pretty much constant but that's definitely there in the health insurance policies so uh what if a policy holder improves their health significantly can ai systems recommend reducing their premiums accordingly right so i think there is there is lot uh, which is there uh, you know what future beholds in this area for uh, for life insurance in health sector put together and i see a huge role being played by technology in the space
all right thank you so much for uh, you know throwing light on that topic um well everyone is talking about jenny and there's a uh, you know uh, much uh, you know talks happening around it uh, what are some of the risks attached to it you know how do you view it how do you see these uh, risks and what are what is your take on it again i think a very nice question pooja uh, so the way we see basically uh, uh, you know entire artificial intelligence in jenny ai space is primarily you know you can divide this into two broad categories one is basically uh, you know uh, the category whereby a consumer consumes gen ai and ai tools on their own uh, for example chat gpt uh, you know freely where you can personally subscribe and utilize them as a web uh, you know url right and uh, the key question which lies onto the organization is how you are you are either blocking them completely or you are com- you are you know partly aware of the risks in terms of you know you are giving them a nudge that you know what they can punch in but exact user action is something which is difficult to monitor in across cases right uh and second is where which is a consumer uh, you know in going in from let's say a commercial grade utilization whereby you are subscribing to uh, no llm models or you are going to basically uh, you know develop them on their own uh, right uh, through maybe usage of open ai but that's pretty much the development team who is actually centrally developing a product for the consumption of the company now there is again set of risks uh, in terms of uh, how the algorithms are leveraged uh, you know uh, especially to provide inputs when you have customer touch points right there have been uh, mishaps uh, you know when one goes around and uh, look out actually the incidents available because of the abuse of technology whereby uh, uh, usage of gen ai has resulted out into let's say maybe information for the customers which is not palatable and not actually something which an organization is advising for resulting into repercussions legal repercussions on the organizations and thereof so these are the two broad buckets of risks i mean you know, and these can be extrapolated in terms of model aversion model risks in terms of misuse of these leading to hacking uh, you know leading to data poisoning so there are there are there is enough and more uh, which talks about as these models if not trained well may hallucinate and actually produce a different outcome and if your business teams are only consuming outcomes and uh, there is less control functions or development functions you know which are looking behind what's going into it then that the same thing which is going to give you an advantage can actually be seriously disadvantages you you are a sort of a financial wellness expert if i may uh, say so and you've seen the insurance sector transform over the years what is really the future of gen ai as far as the insurance sector is concerned you know i i'll, I'll not single out gen ai i think uh, this this happens with almost any technology you know when it is in the initial stages uh, that there are mixed reactions people want to adopt it but there are uh, naysayers and who will who will kind of highlight lot of risks uh, i see definitely uh, you know organizations reaping benefits through gen ai but i think it is primarily in in short if i may say the responsible use of ai putting in the right controls checks and balances in place that know uh, what kind of data you are ingesting in how you are consuming in the outputs have you put in necessary guardrails to protect your in uh, know both organization and the end users against these side effects thank you so much thank you uh, for speaking to digital tech media abhishek and uh, for throwing uh, uh, light on this important subject wish you a very good day really pleasure pooja thank you